When you're trying to launch into a specific orbital inclination, it can be helpful to know where exactly you need to point that rocket towards. To demonstrate how to do this, I'll be simulating a scenario in the RSS, which is Real Skill Solar System, to show you how math can use to determine the exact launch azimuth needed to reach certain orbital inclinations. Uh, today I'll be using a somewhat faithful recreation of the Gemini vessels, a little bit hard to do in Real Skill, but I made it look decent, and we'll attempt to launch into the same inclination as the ISS, which we have a little test to orbit for. So the ISS orbits at an inclination of about 51.6 degrees, or it orbits at a speed of about 7,658.31 meters per second. Combining all of that information with our launch location latitude for Cape Canaveral, it's uh, 28.57 degrees. If you're a JoJo fan, you already knew this. Uh, we'll round it to 28.6 though to make the math easier. And then we use this to calculate the azimuth needed to reach the desired inclination. Sounds simple, right? So we take the cosine of 51.6, divide that by the cosine of 28.6, put that all into arc sine, which gives us 45.02 degrees heading, or around 45 degrees. So you'd think that you could just point your rocket at 45 degrees heading, and you'll reach the desired orbit, which is close to true, but unfortunately there are spins, so there's a little more we need to figure out. Because of this, we're going to have to calculate an adjusted azimuth that we will actually use to uh, fly into the desired inclination orbit. So to do this, we're going to take Earth's rotational velocity, which is 463 meters a second, and compare that to our orbital velocity of 7,658. And then we use a little bit of trig to find out the actual azimuth we need. So we take our orbital velocity, multiply it by the sine of 45 degrees, and subtract that by 463 cosine times 28.6. 463 is Earth's rotation, 28.6 is our launch latitude. This all results in 5,010 meters a second for our horizontal component. Now for the vertical component, we take our orbital velocity of 7,658, multiply it by cosine of 45, which gives us about 5,413 meters a second for the vertical component. This values a bit more because of the fact that the Earth spins, so you don't need as much velocity going into the horizontal component anymore because you're already going 463. Now that we have both of these components, all we have to do is take the ratio between them. So, we get our horizontal component, divide that by a vertical component to get the ratio, and then we just put that inside of the inverse tangent, and we get a value of 42.787 degrees as our final launch azimuth. So this is the direction you'd be burning right as you're launching. Uh, it should be mostly accurate for most launches, but uh, there's slight drifts to the number depending on where you are. So, for example, if you have a really long burn, and let's say you travel 38.6 degrees in latitude northward, so just 10 degrees over our original launch latitude, your new prograde vector is going to be 52.63 degrees instead of 45.02, and that's another thing to know. The point of the adjusted launch azimuth is to make your orbital prograde vector meet at 45.02 once you reach orbital speed. So it's basically your average like thrust. All of that work at 42.787 throughout the entire orbital burn gets your orbital prograde vector exactly at 45.02 degrees. So if you're not doing it instantaneously, it's going to be off by a little bit. So you really want to be working on getting it there. But that value is not going to be at 45.02 degrees uh, if you've already traveled and your nav wells has slightly different headings because of different latitudes and uh, stuff like that. Some other notes, the desired orbit inclination can't be lower than your latitude, so if you're, I don't know, starting at a latitude of 10 degrees, you can't launch directly into an orbital inclination of 5, so you'd have to do an adjustment burn in orbit. It loses a bit of fuel, but it's not too big of a deal. And another thing is you can use the opposite launch as an angle to reach the same inclination of orbit. So you don't have to go 45 degrees, you can go 135, so just take your value, plus minus 180. The, the more common sense value is going to be when you want. That just about sums it up for this somewhat educational video. I just wanted to share how I use uh, mathematics to find out exactly what inclinations I have to go at. For the RSS series, I was going to do it with the moon, but I realized uh, Cape Canaveral is in a really, really nice spot for the moon because the moon is at 28.6 degrees or so inclination, and Cape Canaveral is just around there as well. So all you have to do is point straight eastward, and you're in the same inclination, which is just amazing. You don't have to do any other work in calculating it. Uh, so if you like this video, leave a like, uh, and also subscribe, because we're pretty close to 500, 
and I think it would be pretty cool to hit that before I went off to college.